A year ago, I reviewed this Keychron K6 mechanical keyboard, and in this video, I will show you how I upgraded it, making it look, feel, and sound so much better. Hi there, my name is Felix, and this is How to Creative with everything you need to create. Let's get started. Shortly after buying the Keychron K6, I gave it a small upgrade by swapping the keycap set and lubing the Gatoron Brown switches that came with it. Here is what it looks and sounds like straight out of the box. And after the small upgrade. I wasn't satisfied yet, so I took it to the next level. Here we go. The goal was to make it a black and white theme with some sly Japanese accents to fit the new desk mat and desk setup, which video will drop very soon. I'm starting the upgrade by replacing the switches, and that's why I first have to take off all the keycaps so I can get access to the switches. Now that the switches are exposed, let's remove them. I'm using my camera's lens blower to give the board a quick clean, so it's ready for the new load of switches. I got actual linear Gatoron Ink Black V2 switches that I think are perfect for this upgrade. They sound amazing and are completely black. I got most of my parts from the KB Fan Store on AliExpress, so if you're interested in getting some of these parts for yourself, check the links in the description. I also got some switch film, but more about this later. I clicked all of the switches into the board to get an idea what it sounds like without lube and film. I also found a white keycap set with some Japanese accents on them. So with a bit of money and minimum effort, this is what it looks and sounds like. But still, I wanted to take it to the next level. In order to achieve this, the next step is to lube and film the switches. Let's remove all the keycaps and switches again. We're already a few hours in, so now's a good time to make a quick coffee. I'm using a small loop station to make life a little easier. I also got a 3D printed switch opener, but I changed back to the tweezers because I felt it was a bit easier. Let's prepare the switches and open them all up. Now it's time to start lubing. I'm getting my tools ready, some tweezers, a jewel holder, which is also nice to hold the stems by its mount. I got a small brush and some 205 grade zero lube, which seems to be great for these type of switches. I have to lube 68 switches total, because the Keychron K6 is a 65% keyboard. Here is how I lube the switches. First, I put the spring to the side and start with the bottom housing of the switch. I lube the rails and around the center mast where the spring will be located. Then a bit on the rails of the top housing where the stem will be pushed up against. Then I insert the switch film, which people say reduces the switch wobble and high pitch sound. Then I loop the spring, first the top, then the inside and outside. I put the spring upside down in the center mass of the bottom housing and do the same for the other side of the spring where the center pole of the stem will rest. Next, I lube the stem. The two rails first, and then the sides. Then the front and the legs. The back plate. And a bit on the bottom. Finally, around the center pole. Then I put the center pole of the stem inside the spring, facing it to the right side. And finally, clicking the top housing into place to close the switch up. This is a long process. It took me about an hour to lube and film 15 switches. So 68 switches will take more than 4 hours to lube. And I did this all in one sitting. Next is upgrading the stabilizers. I detach the stabilizers from the board and clean off some of the previous lube.
Then I clip the legs of the stabilizer inserts, which can help reduce the sound of them hitting the PCB. When the legs are nice and flat, it's time to loop the stabilizer housing. This is a lot easier than the switches. I just put some lube in the rails. And then I put a thick layer of lube on the endings of the stabilizer bars. Finally, I reattach the entire stabilizer and click them back into the board. I do this for all four stabilizers. Let's test the stabilizers by putting back some of the loop switches and keycaps. When they seem to be great, let's put back all the loop switches. Sounds great! Let's put all the keycaps back on for a final test. That's it. Six hours of work. Let's hear what it sounds like. This was straight out of the box. This was with new keycaps and switches. And again, this is with loop and switch film, the final result. Even though I did not get any foam for it or a super high quality keycap set, I do think it looks, feels and sounds amazing. I think it's absolutely worth the hours I put into upgrading it and to complete this keyboard build I might do some upgrades still and get a custom white coiled cable to go with the theme. What do you think? Also let me know in the comments below where I can get one or I might eventually make one myself. Who knows? If you want to share your keyboard build, join the Discord for more Keep Talk and see you in the next video which will be about my upgraded desk setup. Stay creative, see you soon.